Do you want to know how I transformed my client's back pain from where she was crawling on the floor in agony, not able to get up, nothing was working for her, to the point where she had to stop work, couldn't go to yoga, couldn't go walking, she was in such immense pain, to hiking, going to yoga, working again and loving it without pills, surgery or physiotherapy. Now, you'd think that most people that can heal back pain, womb cramps, physical pain, mental illness, and a host of other reasons that get in the way, you'd think that they look like this, this, or even this. But you probably don't think that they look like this. No? Hmm? Right? But here's the thing. I am gifted and skilled in transformation. 14 years ago now, I began my energy healing journey. I'd been on a spiritual healing journey before that, but it wasn't until 2010 that I had such an incredible healing experience because of a healing crisis. I had a mental breakdown. I was sick with chronic illness. I had bronchitis every single year. It ended up turning into walking pneumonia. I was socially anxious from years of bullying from years of feeling misunderstood and feeling neglected and being sent to a school where I would just get chastised and bullied every single day. I grew up with a lot of mental health and physical health issues. So being the person I am, I got to heal it from the ground up. The first time I went to the doctor, which was many years before that, I had chronic fatigue. They did all these tests and yes, my thyroid and things like that were all out of whack. As a doctor handed me the prescription, I remember it so clearly. She was standing above me. And as she handed me the prescription, I looked up to her, I took it and I went, how long will I have to take this for? She looked me deadpan in the face. And she said, I think her exact words were, oh, forever, you'll always have this. I swear to you, I heard like an actual cracking sound, like, like thin ice or glass just breaking. Because I know, and I knew that our bodies are profoundly designed to heal. Just like when you get a cut on your hand, somewhere on your body. If you don't rub dirt in it, if you actually clean it, what happens? It heals itself. So I knew that our bodies were made to self-heal. I knew that we were powerful. I knew that that was not going to be my reality forever. I was, I don't know, like in my mid-twenties, there was no way that was going to happen for the rest of my life. So I'm so pleased that I went outside and I threw that prescription for those sick pills in the trash bin. I had no intention of being part of that reality. And somehow, even before I knew anything about healing, I went home and I healed myself back to full energy and vitality within about eight months and started losing a lot of weight and getting in shape. And I can tell you, when you bet on yourself and you believe in your body's profound ability to heal, you will be led to the right healers just like I was. Now for the chronic fatigue thing, I wasn't really led to any healers. That was something that I just figured out through my own way, through like several synchronicities happening in my life. One friend, actually, she helped me tune into this dream that I had because I'd read her dream. Um, and at the time, I had shut down my energy centers because of the negative things I did when I was younger. I blamed myself. And part of it, I blamed my sort of psychic powers. So I shut them down. Turns out that shut down my whole energy system. And there were so many more things that went into it as well. So that could be a whole video on itself. But anyway, one thing led to another. And I got my energy back. But the healing cycle continued. Next up, the chronic lung disease, the lung issues that I had since I was a kid, it just got so bad that I was coughing for like all day, hours and hours every day. Every morning when I woke up, I would freeze in fear because I knew that the second that I moved, I'll be launched up and just start coughing in the most painful fits ever. And it would last for an hour an hour and I put up with this for years and at the end it got so incredibly bad it got so terrible that I ended up getting walking pneumonia and I almost died it was a miracle that I'd already been doing 
energy work, specifically a, a very uh, breathy type of EFT tapping by my teacher, Sonia Sophia, who really helped me heal some deep, deep, deep things that would not have been possible without someone like her who helped me go all in and do hours upon hours upon hours of this magical work that healed and transformed not only the lung issue that ended up being healed through emotional alchemy, which is what I now teach my clients, but the PTSD that sent me into trauma triggers. The, I mean, it was a really mental illness because I had such a severe attachment disorder. I was so chronically anxious. I was so triggered easily that I'd fly off the handle, go into screaming fits, everything like that. But this work healed me over the years very quickly in big chunks. I'd have healings and things change and as the next problem came up, I could do it again. So this led me to become extremely gifted in healing others because I had so much to heal in myself. And it's just what I'm here on this earth for. I'm literally born to do this. So I have a natural gift in helping people heal. Like, And the word heal, I think, is widely misunderstood. It's not just some receiving some nice energy. No, this is... This is down in the trenches, deep body work, a somatic trauma-informed therapy where it's call and response. So when we do a session together, you would sit in front of me, usually online, um, wherever you are in the comfort of your own home or your car, some people, depending on what's going on in your day. And I would listen to you, we'd do a talk therapy, where you just tell me what's going on. We tune into what you feel in your body, the sensations, the anxiety, the knots, the tension, the pain, the heaviness, and guess what? Then we go into it, and you can actually talk to your pain. Not just talk to it, but it is made up of emotion. It's made up of stuck energy that's encoded with actual beliefs and commitments about what you will and won't do because of how you believe that the world works. Because of an experience you had or multiple experiences that you had when you're a child and they have a lot of access points basically each holographic memory it has so much encoded into it smells sights sounds songs maybe a song that was playing or expression on someone's face could be stuck in your memory system and when we go in and we find the memory and we change it we manipulate it and turn it into a better experience not only that, it's not just the visualization. We're actually going into your body and changing it on a cellular structure like a caterpillar that goes into a cocoon. What does it do? It doesn't just go in there and come out a butterfly. It goes in there and it turns into sludge. So that's what we do. So your cells, let's say, let's say where you have your back pain, your womb cramps or your anxiety or just even your regular overwhelm from working too much and feeling not safe to stop working or opposite, feeling not safe to start working, whichever yours is. We go into where that is and you'll notice it's a hard spot in your body, whether it's physical or emotional, they're one and the same thing. The emotional actually just gets so bad over time that as you age, it turns into physical disease, all right? So what happens is we go in, I take you in, and I guide you to talk to this part of you and how to actually get it to speak to you, how to listen to it, and then how to transform it. And it goes from being like an ice cube in your body, or like the caterpillar, right? And then it melts like water, and then it turns into steam. Or like the caterpillar turns into a butterfly and then flies off. And what this means is this fear that wasn't just fear. It was a part of you that's literally stuck in fear. That's terrified of what could happen, of what people think, of not being safe, of failing, of not being worthy. And this is all on such an unconscious level that it doesn't matter how much work you've done or how good you feel on the surface. We all have subconscious issues that are running the show underneath. Especially if you have pain, anxiety, overwhelm, depression, or even if you're in a really great place, but there are some things that are like a little bit off. Maybe something in your relationship isn't working out so well, or maybe you're in a bit of a boom and bust cycle with really good periods of life, and then you're like, oh, when's it gonna when's it gonna go wrong? Well, that is the actual belief that causes it to go wrong, but we have to go into your nervous system, into your subconscious, and work with this actual feeling instead of just pretending to be positive over the top. Because the parts that you repress in order to be positive with this whole positive thinking thing, it doesn't work like that. You don't just think positive. 
You don't just think positive. You let yourself feel the negative, okay? Not necessarily all the time. You've got work to do, sure. You might put it aside, da 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 then come back to it later. But you let yourself feel the negative, and here's how you be positive. You use positive, caring thoughts on and with the negative parts of you that are stuck in fear, it's not fear itself, it's you who believes that she's not safe. And rather than saying, I have to release and delete this part of me that I hate, that's like you saying to yourself, I have to release and delete myself because I hate myself. No, instead what do you have to do? You've got to go into the fear that you feel in your body, create a relationship with it consciously, which is why guided energy alchemy is the most powerful an important thing you can do in your entire life. Hands down. You have to go into that fear, create that relationship with it, embrace it. And then as you do that, it feels heard. And then as you do that, you can actually change your mind and upgrade your beliefs in alignment with spiritual law, right? And spiritual law is how the universe works, such as when you act from trust and when you truly feel trust, especially you create more to trust. When you act from fear, you create the things that you fear, right? Easy, bingo, bango. But that's why you can be positive. But if you're just pretending to be positive and you're repressing the negative, it won't work. Let's say you have a, you're, 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 you're manifesting something and then you have this bubble of fear come up and you're like, oh no, 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 I'm positive. Well, guess what? That fear just became so much stronger, like so much stronger because you've relegated it into the basement and rather just being a, a hurt little puppy that came up saying, I'm really scared, I'm really scared. You take, down, you take it down into the basement where you cannot see it, where you cannot reason with it. When you bring it up and you let yourself feel it and then use compassion on it, you can actually reason with it after and during, but after you've heard it out and you've let it say all the horrible negative things. I know it sounds so counterintuitive to what we're, we're taught these days, but this is why most people can't heal chronic back pain like I can. This is why I've saved wombs from hysterectomies, women in immense cramping pain. But I took them into their wombs and connected them and actually gave the womb a face in your imagination. It's a whole thing. It really works. And you listen to all the pain, all the memories, all the opinions stored in there. And then as you love it, love it, love it, love it, feel it, feel it, feel it, which is a painful part, but send it compassion, which helps. It transforms. And guess what? then you are filled with confidence and joy and you take new actions and your body feels better. Your mind feels clearer. Your relationships are better. You manifest easier and you create good fortune in your life. This is what I do. This is what I'm a genius at. And I may not look like the regular lab coat type of person, but I think that's why I'm so genius because I'm my true authentic self. And even though I haven't always been able to show my true self because I have been so scared of being judged. I have had insecurity issues and, and my weight image issues and things like that. I've still showed up as much as I could within the confines of my fears and insecurities. And I continue to work through them even as I help people all around the world. Literally thousands of people have done my videos on YouTube, have done my programs. So many people have done my private one-to-one -one work my group programs, and they have the most immense transformations. Like my client that did just several of my tapping videos, and then all of a sudden she messaged me and she says, um, I don't know how, but all of a sudden my IBS that I've had for years just went away. And I'm like, yeah, that happens with this work. Had another client you might've just seen in a previous video I did. She had asthma for years. They lived in the mountains and she wanted to go hiking with her family because the mountains were just at the back of her house. So they could trottle off, off they go. And if she tried to go with them, she'd have a massive asthma attack. So missed out on massive quality time with her family. Plus, of course, she fell sick. With my work, we're actually focusing on money work, on worthiness work, and on the grief that comes from not feeling worthy. She didn't actually tell me that she had asthma. And, at the, and now I always ask. But this was many years ago. And it turns out that during one of the sessions, because lungs are grief, she was tap, tap, tapping, which is also talking and feeling and doing the whole unique process that I teach. She felt this tightness and then it went pop and she went, <gasps> and she was able to breathe deeply for the first time ever. And that was years ago. I've been in contact with her since and it hasn't come back. Another one of my clients who was a, who is a best-selling author, she came to me again years ago, terrified of being on video. She could not do a video like this. She'd 
freeze. And by the way, I used to do that too. I couldn't do videos. I'm not the this takes work to be able to be this comfortable and confident in front of the camera. I can tell you, whew, it really does. It took me years. <laughs> then my energy alchemy helps speed up the process so much easier helping other people, you know, through their blocks and, you know, myself, which is why I also outsource and get help like any smart person should do. But so she was freezing and she came to me for some sessions. And even though we kept going for, I think, a couple of months and kept helping and growing. She says after the first session, we were of going into her fears, clearing the energy, the fear she felt of being in front of camera, the fear of being judged of what people would think of what could go wrong, and the memories that created that. Oh, she had a breath of fresh air, and the next morning she recorded several videos on the bounce. And now here's the thing. Now, since then, she kept growing a YouTube channel and she went from not able to do videos at all to now she has 185,000 subscribers, 185,000 subscribers. Another one of my clients, she, her Instagram, this isn't even the main part of the story. We're working on other things like her physical health where she was having incredible pains and was scared she was gonna die. We healed that, okay? Her agoraphobia where she couldn't leave the property for fears that her mum and sisters might die basically. We healed that. <laughs> she's since been actually in a movie and she's since traveled to Italy, like, right okay but here's the thing her instagram went from 350 people because it was a path of least resistance where she was already enjoying posting she she had these be she does these beautiful photos of her in the in the fields and in the forest with with the dresses that she makes absolutely gorgeous and beautiful her instagram blew up from 350 followers she messaged me she said uh kai my instagram just all of a sudden blew up to 11,000." Now, I got the message the next day. By the time I'd logged on, it was 15,000. And then within the next few weeks, it went up to 20-something thousand. And now in the two years since, it's around 35,000 followers. And we didn't even work on that, except we did because we worked on her fears of being seen. We worked on her unforgiveness around her not finishing things. We worked on her feeling unsafe in her body and in the world. This work is everything. And I would love to share it with those of you who are already self-leaders. You already know that subconscious programming is a good idea. You're just looking for the right healer, the right guide, the right energy alchemist. And if that's me, Kai Clifford, send me a message, reach out and ask about my Pure Fire Alchemy Intensive to work with me one-to-one. -one. Or you can even do my low-cost home study programs, I often have live masterclasses running. And I have a free journey that you can go on on YouTube. So you can get a full transformation in your entire life like other people actually have through my YouTube videos as long as you have the gumption to show up and do the work because it can be hard to do it yourself. You can have all these excuses why not to do it. It can be hard to sit with the feelings. You may want to turn it off. But after you want to turn it off is when the real transformation happens. So my 101 days of breathwork tapping is on my YouTube channel. So just go to the links in my bio, go find something that fits you, whether it's coming straight one-to-one -one work with me, something lower cost, or yes, my free stuff on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and comment because I do love to hear from you. I love to know your experience, your highlights. I actually genuinely care about your experience. That's why I'm doing this. I remember years ago, years ago, before I knew there was any money in healing at all, and I got the most immense transformations. I was mind blown, mind expanded. And I knew I had to share this with everyone who was willing to do it. And that's what I'm here, what, 14 years later, since I first had my first breakthroughs through energy healing. And I can tell you, I would not be standing here in front of you like this today. I might even be dead if I didn't have this work. Now, this can work for you, obviously, if you're in a desperate situation. And if that's you, definitely do my YouTube videos, definitely do my low cost stuff. You can talk to me about my one-to-one -one work. It is high level stuff. Okay, so usually, genuinely, it's for the bold self leaders. It's for the seasoned entrepreneurs or high level career women who really wanna just fine tune their life, expand more, heal their relationships, heal any patterns right? Heal any health issues, overcome any back pain that's keeping you from sessions or living the life that you really want to live, healing anything, okay? My work works on the cellular atomic level, on the neural pathways in your nervous system. So it doesn't matter, even if you've got some complex project that you're doing, that even if it's astrophysics, I literally don't need to know how what you're doing works 
to help you access your genius and have free flow, be able to perform, be able to trust, make the right decisions, feel good about it, heal your body, do all the things that you need to do. It does not matter how you express it in the real world, as long as you're willing to do the work, I help you to release the blocks in the way of your success. So I'm Kai Clifford. Please reach out to me. Let me know how I can help you. Or if you have any questions, put them in the comments. and I'm happy to make a video on it just for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>